Welcome back to the program. And indeed, for more on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. Log, you can also log on to m.channelstv.com to watch us on your mobile device or download the Channels TV apps for Android, iOS and Windows devices from their respective stores. And the Channels TV and Channels 24 apps will give you access to news and updates. You also have access to the eyewitness feature with which you can share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and indeed you can follow the instructions. The Senate Committee on Power and Steel Development is disturbed by the uncertainty surrounding the completion of the 215 KVA Kudenda power plant and other independent power projects in Kaduna State. The chairman of the committee, Senator Einaya Barbe, wasn't happy when he visited the project sites. He then called for unified efforts to ensure that erratic power supply across the country is resolved, and quickly too. The epileptic power situation nationwide remains a source of concern to many as it has negative effect on the nation's economy. The sale of the power holding company of Nigeria to private investors was seen as the dawn of a new era, but this is yet to make the desired impact. How much certainty do we have that this discourse are actually not playing on sharp corners. Who is supposed to be the eyes of the public? The current meter they were using were actually not in line with the uh, standard requirements of the metering code. Instead of uh, 240, yeah. it was 230, mm -hmm. and instead of uh, the current 250 amps, it was 150. There are 18 national integrated power projects in Kaduna State, with only seven of the projects fully completed, while others are at various stages of completion. The Senate Committee on Power is in the state for an on-the-spot assessment of power projects across the state. Visiting power stations and sites at Guningora, Narayi, Air Force Base and also the 215 Kaduna power plant at Kundenda. The Senate is told that the contract for the power plant project awarded on November the 19th, 2009 has a completion date. The major concern we have here is the fact of the delay and the cost overrun that we are getting and uh, the associated changes in the design. This place was designed for an LPFO and um, natural gas plant. The natural gas infrastructure is not here at all. That means that it is still uh, to be done. At the immediate projected cost of diesel, it is not going to be a viable venture to generate power on diesel and say it is going to come at par on the rate of the tariff that is being prosecuted by the power chain in Nigeria. The committee members also visited the Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency, NEMSA, where they asked the managers to discard what they describe as arbitrary estimated billing to customers, saying the system is not in the best interest of Nigerians. At the beginning of its tenure two years ago, the president administration made the fight against corruption top priority. In line with this, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, which has been in the forefront of the government's anti-corruption campaign, is staging an anti-corruption walk across the country, encouraging Nigerians to shun the practice. In this report, we take a look at their march in Kano and Port Harcourt. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has taken the fight against corruption out of the offices and onto the streets. In Kano State, officials of the commission are marching to pass a message that the days of corruption are numbered. The zonal head of the EFCC in Kano calls on all to join the crusade. We must kill cor corruption before corruption kills Nigeria. That word, that word, 
please, everybody should put that one in his mind. It's not just a mere saying. We have problem of corruption in Nigeria. Applauding the move is elder statesman Meitama Sule, who wants the full arm of the law to fall hard on those found guilty. Unless we fight corruption, we will not command respect in the eyes of the world. And nobody will accept leadership in Africa. Nobody will accept, respect us in the international community. We must fight corruption. Fighting corruption is doing justice to the common man. The quest continues in River State where the message is the same. Corruption must be stopped. This is not a publicity stunt, but rather it is an attempt and part of our mandate as EFCC to cause awareness and ginger the minds of Nigerians to the twin evil of money laundering and corruption. As the stream of red shirts march on, it's clear that the momentum of the anti-corruption campaign must be sustained to keep the government's efforts of stamping out corruption on track. And now to the Nigerian Customs, and it says its operatives have intercepted another container laden with arms at the port and cargo terminal of the Tinkan Island port in Lagos. Customs spokesman at the Tinkan Island Command, Uche Ejesieme, says 440 assorted rifles have been counted of the arms cash said to have been imported from Turkey. Now he told Channel's television that one suspect has been taken into custody in connection with the seizure, while the investigation continues into the matter. An unusual cluster of customs officers on the Tinkan Island Port Command at the enforcement unit in Apapa, Lagos. Their presence is an indication that something big is in the air. They are here to unravel what an importer had declared as a container filled with plaster of Paris. Uh, they are palm action of various uh, designs. This is one particular design. And then you have another design again. You know, this one is black in color. They are all palm action. And then um, you are familiar with the a single barrel uh, uh, device of the same uh, uh, gun type. This BOP, you know, was used to conceal, you know, the importation. And so, you can. There's no way we're going to know about that. But based on intelligence reports, we're able to we're able to uh, discover that this container was loaded with these arms, which were made. Uh, about. The customs authorities seem not to be ready to let the cat out of the bag on the identity of those behind the illicit business. They say the arms laden cargo also contains other arms, protected gadgets and equipment. We have other accessories in this container as well. Several parts dismantled, definitely <laughs> to be reassembled. So investigation requests we go deeper so as to get to where this quasi factory of arms assemblage is in Nigeria, so that the nation will be safer in the end. This seizure brings to two containers laden with arms empowered by the customs in Lagos. Turkey is a country of import for both seizures, while the US and Italy are countries of manufacture for this latest arms consignment. Still to come on the program, pensioners in Oshun State claim their gratuities remain unpaid and they want it done quickly. Join us again.